Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I'm picking up the camera a bit later on in the morning. It's just before 7.50 here and myself and one of the guys is at the local Casey's store. We had to fill up on diesel here. So today guys, we are gonna be doing a pretty big project in a tiny backyard, which requires some small equipment. So today we have our F-350 here with the small Vermeer mini skid and the Yanmar uh, mini uh, excavator here. And I'm gonna be going to pick up uh, some wood chip material here so let's hop in let's go get that and get it over to the job this morning guys has been super busy I've been running around the shop just trying to get uh, the equipment uh, heading on out to job sites we had a quick breakdown but I was able to get it fixed here but like always guys there's a full mods list link down below and hit that like button it's much appreciated we're getting over to the supplier uh, a bit earlier than what I try to here he should be getting here any minute and we're gonna get about five yards worth of wood chips here and we'll go over the job once we get there Thank you, farmer. Have a good day. All right, guys, we're all loaded up here. We were actually the first customer of the day for him. I actually had a quick conversation about that Kubota loader. Since I've been looking at one, I think we might pick one of those up for snow plowing since I, I think that would be the perfect size for a 10, 15 foot pusher. And the supplier was right around the corner from the job site here. So we already got here. Let's do a quick job walk around. So like I mentioned guys, we're going to be doing some big projects here, but look at that guys, it's a tiny gate, which is going to be a bit tricky here, that's why we have the mini skid and also the mini uh, excavator here, our small one, but we have to remove all these bushes here and these bigger trees around back along the fence line here, so we're going to be using the mini X for that. And then we're going to be using the Vermeer uh, skid uh, steer to do some work over here. We want to make this a nice rectangle playset area and then put some wood chips down. He wants to go all the way to the fence that way he doesn't have to mow there. So there's a lot of work to it, a lot of detail work. Uh, but I think we should probably get going with the mini excavator. All right, let's get this thing fired on up here. Just have to make sure we uh, back off this uh, properly here. It is always a little tricky here, but like I mentioned guys, this is a small backyard and this is one of the things we specialize in with the business is these smaller backyards because we have the machines uh, to get in them. But wow, look at that guys, only a few inches on either side. I couldn't have planned that any uh, better there, but wow, that worked out perfectly. That is so awesome here. Yeah, that's where uh, we get so many more jobs in our, uh, cust in our customers end up hiring us because our competition just doesn't have these smaller machines. All right, we're coming up on the last little bit on this side here. Now I'm making a big pile of these bushes and then once we get the dump truck unloaded with the wood chips, I will just put these right in it and bring it to the local waste center there. I just try to plan out the job so we're as efficient as possible. That way we don't keep end up moving things here, but we got that side cleaned up. Now it's just this side. And why don't we get going over here? We'll work our way closer to the shed there because these are some bigger uh, trees here. It looks like some small tree bushes is probably the best name for this thing. But wow, these are super big. Let's see if we can get on the first try. Mm -hmm. 
These bigger bushes are taking a little bit more time here. They have some pretty big roots and luckily this does have enough power. I think this is about 30 to 40 horsepower. It's not much, uh, maybe even uh, closer to 25 to 30 here. Not exactly sure, but this smaller Yanmar still gets it done here for us. We'll just kind of keep on moving back and uh, this is going to be a really good transformation here. I guess he just did not end up trimming it, the homeowner, and uh, they just kind of kept growing way too big over the last 10, 15 years. And now uh, we're here with the excavator to dig them out. Alright guys, there we have it. The mini excavator did its job here. That looks awesome. So I think we're good with this one. Let's bring this out on to the front here to give us some more room in the back. And let's get going with the Vermeer. With how the Vermeer's on the skids, it might be a little tricky to get it up and off here, but hey, this thing uh, should be really easy still to maneuver. We'll just have to go back and forth a few times just like that. And the other thing we have to make sure, guys, is that we're going down in the center since those ramps are a little bit too wide and we just make it there with this thing here. But let's go around here. We have a little bit of dirt work to do before we bring in uh, the mulch here. We want to make it uh, go right up to the fence. And he was saying that when he mows it, all the grass clippings kind of just go right on into here. And that's kind of why you see grass and all that around here. So we just have to dig this up. And actually, I'm going to take all this soil here. Let's bring it all the way over here. And we'll just slowly put this here. Nice topsoil over that is going to help that grow even better. It's a tight fit along that fence area there, but having the right machine in this thing, although it looks like a small machine, guys, you could get a lot of work done with this, which is awesome here. And I really want to do more and more jobs with this here. They are just as profitable, just that uh, uh, the profit margins are the same, but it's a lower price job. And that's why we don't end up doing too many. About 10 minutes worth of work and here we have it here. This looks awesome. We gave a little bit more room out front here for the slide and so the kids have some area to play around with here. But let's bring this back out front. We need to get the wood chips unloaded. Now it would be so easy to just back the truck right in but that is not possible there and he did ask us not to unload in the driveway so I'm thinking we're just gonna have to unload right here on the grass. Let's get right to work with a Vermeer. Now, sometimes, guys, the homeowners do make that request that they get a, a brand new driveway and they don't want machines or even materials on it. And we just have to work around it here. Now, the other thing is that some counties do not actually want you to uh, uh, unload materials onto the roadway. So that's also something we have to work through. All right, guys, I have just about another bucket or two left here, but I'm running low on camera battery, so I think I'm going to call it a day here for the videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.